If you'd like to customize your TTS stickers even further by adding an ultra realistic recreation of your voice, then this is the video for you. I'll be showing you step by step how to create your voice into a usable AI for your TTS stickers. Stream Stickers has made this process super easy, so let's get started. Go ahead and open your Stream Stickers dashboard and head over to TTS Voice Lab. So Stream Stickers gives you one personal TTS voice slot and then unlimited shareable voice slots, meaning there is no limit to how many times you can share your voice with other users and how many times a voice can be shared with you. Stream Stickers users are able to share their voices with other users, which I will show you how to do in this tutorial. To get started, click on this pink plus sign. But before we start recording, let's talk about the recording process. You'll want to speak loudly and very clearly while reading the scripts in blue. In order to generate the best AI voice, you wanna make sure that your voice levels stay in the green at all times. If your voice levels are too low, your viewers won't be able to hear your TTS voice on stream. The volume you speak with will be the volume that your TTS voice will be. Put on your best streaming voice and don't be afraid to show some personality and range. You'll want to avoid speaking in monotone because this will generate a very generic TTS voice. Add personality, intonation, and excitement into your script reading. And you'll want to record in a noise-free atmosphere. Make sure you turn off any fans or any background noise that can end up in your recording. You can either record this on-site by hitting record or you can upload your own file manually. If if you'd like to record on site, all you have to do is hit that record button. Here's an example of how you would record. We're stepping into a world where the laws of reality took a vacation and the pink flamingos are running the show. Strap in my friends, because today we're diving into a game so absurdly awesome that it makes pineapple on pizza seem normal. Grab your lucky rubber chicken because we're about to embark on a quest that involves dancing goblins and disco loving dragons. When you're finished speaking the script lines, click next. Once you're finished reading all the scripts, you can go ahead and click submit. Now you can listen to your script recording and make sure you're happy with it. We're stepping into a world where the laws of reality took a vacation and the pink flamingos are running the show. If everything sounds good, go ahead and click next. So the voice lab creator will produce a sample TTS from your recorded script lines. And you can preview that here. This is a preview of your TTS AI voice model. It sounds pretty good to me. I think that sounds pretty spot on to my voice. Here you can adjust what's called tonal variance. Decreasing the tonal variance can help increase variability and make your voice sound more lifelike between uses and increasing the tonal variance will increase the similarity between each use. However, it could make your voice sound more monotone. Here you can enable multi-language and accent enhancements for non-English speaking channels. I'm going to leave that off. And here you can adjust style exaggeration. So high volumes of style exaggeration are recommended if the style of the speech should be exaggerated compared to the uploaded audio. Let's listen to the preview one more time. This is a preview of your TTS AI voice model. It sounds pretty good to me. And then we'll adjust the style exaggeration all the way up and we will listen to the preview again. This is a preview of your TTS AI voice model. It sounds pretty good to me. Do you hear the difference? I'm gonna drag this back down and leave it at 20%. This is a preview of your TTS AI voice model. It sounds pretty good to me. Perfect. If you're happy with it, go ahead and click next. So here's where you can share the TTS voice you just created with other broadcasters. All you have to do is type their name exactly the way it's spelled and click share voice. If you don't have a user you'd like to share with at this time, you can go ahead and click submit. So this pop-up will appear saying your new TTS voice model has successfully been created. You can now assign this voice to an existing TTS sticker or create a new TTS sticker if you have any available TTS sticker slots as shown below. This voice will now appear as AI Personal Rose Color Chaos in your list of custom AI voices when creating and editing a TTS sticker. It will say your name instead of Rose Color Chaos because, well, Rose Color Chaos is my name, not yours. So we can either assign this voice to one of our existing TTS stickers or we can create a new TTS sticker to assign it there. For right now, we're just going to go ahead and click skip, but Please note, TTS models cannot be used until they are assigned to a sticker. And there's our voice right here. We can go ahead and preview our voice again. This is a preview of your TTS AI voice model. It sounds pretty good to me. Adjust the tonal variance, multi-language and accent enhancement, style exaggeration, or we can assign this to an existing sticker. Now, if you decided you'd like to share your voice, this is where you go ahead and search for a creator to share it with. But as you can see, we're not currently sharing our voice. Let's go ahead and assign this to an existing TTS sticker. Go ahead and click assign voice. Here you see we have two TTS stickers to choose from. I'm going to go ahead and assign this voice to this dog sticker. So from here, make sure this is enabled for AI voice. Click this drop down and then find that custom TTS voice labeled with your name. 
AI personal rose color chaos for me. I'm going to go ahead and click that and that's it. That's as easy as it gets. If you'd like to preview how the voice sounds, go ahead and click preview. This is a voice preview of your talking sticker. It sounds pretty good to me. But if you'd like to create a new TTS sticker to assign the voice to, all you have to do is click this pink plus sign in an open TTS sticker slot. Select the file you'd like to use as your sticker. We're gonna use this wacky waving inflatable arm flailing tube man. Say that 10 times fast, I dare you. Click next. Here's where you can adjust the eyes. We're just going to use these here. And I think I'll just go with these ones. Make these small enough for him. And a mouth, because this is just for an example purpose, I'm just going to go ahead and assign this one. And it's gonna be way oversized because I think it's funny looking. And click next. Here's where we would assign that AI voice. So it is automatically assigned for us, but if it doesn't automatically pop up, you can just click this drop down and select the AI voice. Preview TTS. This is a voice preview of your talking sticker. It sounds pretty good to me. Perfect. Here is where you can upload the audio for your TTS alert sound that plays before the TTS sticker starts talking. If you'd like to go ahead and hide that closed mouth asset while the sticker is not talking, enable that and we are going to do that. And if everything looks good, go ahead and click next. We are going to use this in co-host mode. Next, name the sticker and I'm gonna name this Wally and click submit. Perfect. And there's the sticker we just created. Again, all of the options here, your voice, the stickiness of how long the sticker stays on the screen, volume, you can upload your alert sound, adjust your amount of bits. You can enable sub only, sticker or co-host. And there you have it. If you have any questions, please feel free to join up in the Discord or comment on this video down below and we will help you any way that we can. Also, don't forget to tag stream stickers and all your sticker clips. Until next time, I'm Rose Clara Chaos and we can't wait to hear your new TTS voices.